Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and I'm here to talk about the integration of algebraic functions. Now, integration is a very, very critical part of calculus, and so those of you going into that field really will need to have a really strong grasp and mastery of integration. But we're going to talk about a couple of rules that will help, especially when it comes to integrating algebraic functions, especially the ones involving polynomials. So the one rule that you want to consider is what happens when you want to integrate a function or any term that's of x to the n power. Now, n is the exponent. This is known as the power rule. Now, the one condition here is your exponent cannot equal to negative 1. We're going to address that in a little bit later on in another rule, but the rule for the power rule here is you take your x and with the exponent you add 1 to it and then you divide by n plus 1. So basically what you're doing is you're dividing by the exponent that you see above and then you add the indefinite constant. So a really quick illustration of how to do this is supposing you're, you're integrating x to the sixth. What you're doing here is you're taking the 6, x to the 6, you're adding 1 to the 6, but then you're dividing by the same 6 plus 1. So again, there's a match in the denominator as you are with the exponent, and then you're adding c to it. So this will be x to the 7th over 7 plus c, or some people like to write it as 1 7th x to the 7th plus c. Now, I think you might understand now why the exponent cannot equal to negative 1, because if you have negative 1 down here, that's going to give you 0 in the denominator. But does that mean you can't integrate when the exponent is negative 1? That's not really true. Here's another rule real quick to address that. If you have negative 1 as your exponent, the rule for that is the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. So when it comes to the integration rules, for all exponents that are not negative 1, you can use this for the power rule. But when your exponent is negative 1, you can use this particular rule to help you. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a very brief overview on integration of algebraic functions.